Okay, here's week two for CISN 308. And let's go and see what we need to do for this week. I'm going to the hub and then I'm going to go to Canvas. And this is 308. And I'm going to go to Modules in 308 and look at week two. And it says in the lab <coughs> for week two, we got to do Net Labs, Network Plus, Lab 3, and use a different, uh, send screenshots, and then use a different screenshot uh, from the internet, I guess, to create a PowerPoint that describes TCP IP version 4. Email files attached or upload in Canvas for a week two assignment. Okay, that's what we got to do. And here's a thing on IPv4. Hey, look at that. That's pretty nice from Wikipedia. And what else have we got here? TCP IP. This is also from Wikipedia. Some good stuff. And what else have we got? Ah, quiz two. And let's take a look and see what your quiz two looks like. Do 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 do. Ah, true false and multiple choice and a fill in the blank. Very good questions. Okay, back again. <coughs> so the only real thing I want to help you with is two things actually. One is to create a PowerPoint. The thing to do is go to a, another tab and then go to Google Google, and search for uh, TCP slash IP. Uh, <laughs> we'll hit enter and then we can go to images. And you find lots of different images that you might be able to use in your PowerPoint that you create. And you can just download those and insert them into slides in a PowerPoint presentation. And 12 uh, slides or less just go over some of the basics of TCP IP. Pretty exciting stuff. And that will help you learn more about TCP IP. So that's what I would do with the slide deal. Ah, if you're unfamiliar with PowerPoint, the way PowerPoint works is, well, it's fairly simple and straightforward, but I will grab a, let's see, we want to create a new PowerPoint. Hmm. I want to go to new. Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. Okay, here's the first slide. Say I have an image here. I am going to go back. I got my PowerPoint going here. Go back to the internet. Get that Google thing going again. No, I don't have to say Google. I just have to say TCP IP. IP. Okay, and then I will go to, well, this looks good right here. Yeah, I like this picture. No, 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 no. Why have you done this to me? You have done it to me. Save image as. All right, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna save it. Yeah, I am gonna save it. I'm putting it on my desktop. There it is. Okay, and now I can get out of this and go back here to my page. Go back here to here, and here we have a slide open. You can take this picture. Oh, you pig, you. Uh, we put a title here, TCP IP, TCP slash IP, add subtitle, the source of all. 
get a spell source right. Uh oh. Net. Internet. And then I can add a picture. Okay, here's the picture covering everything up. Oh, 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 this is so exciting. Well, anyway, you'll have to play around with that and put things where you want them. And set it up like that. That's how you get a picture. You bring it in. You can put a title. You can change these things around. You can move this if you want to. If it'll let you. No. Anyway, it's fun to play with. You can create whatever you want for your slides. PowerPoint is a user somewhat friendly application and it's fun to uh, play with and I just destroyed everything didn't I I'll put it over on this side so you can see it better anyway and then you can resize this too yeah and you can make color backgrounds and do all kinds of fun things and then save it and attach it to an email I am not going to save mine because it's a mess. It's a train wreck. Okay, and I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to delete that. So you kind of get the idea of what you're supposed to be doing with these PowerPoint deals. And then the next thing we have to do is we have to go to NetLab. Uh, yes, if I remember correctly, we're doing a NetLab. Go click on NetLab and then click on Login. And then you go to Schedule. Mm -hmm -hmm. Lab for myself. CISN 308. And this is Network Plus. And it's Lab 3. And then you just go here to the next available time. How in the world did I do that? I messed myself up completely here. I didn't... Let me go back. <laughs> okay, now I can see the red line. And I just click a little bit below the red line. And I get this. Say Submit. And say OK. I am going to lift this up so that I can see better. And now I'm going to hit Enter Lab. And the content is right here. <clears throat> this is also on uh, the, pay the uh, canvas. I have downloaded this PDF, so you don't have to go back and forth between content and topology here if you want to have that on a separate screen. I can't really display how to do that because I'm, I've am i got a limited amount of real estate for this video. So let's go over here to Topology and you'll see what they've got. I know for this lab, if you look at the content here, it says that it wants you to log into uh, Windows Internal One and Backtrack internal, Backtrack 5 internal. So here's Backtrack 5 internal right here. Son of a gun, you can't see it if I have it up there. <laughs> Gee, can't see it one way, you can't see it the other way. Okay, I have this now lifted up as high as it'll go. And I'm going to put down here. Uh, root and the password is Tor and then I'm going to type, it, type in start X I apologize for this all being at the very bottom of the screen so that you can barely barely see it if you can see it at all and then you go here and you've got it and the test thing that it tells you to do in the lab is type in here who am I and if you type that in it comes back and says root I am root I am grout. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway, so there's that one. We got the internal one right here. You want to send a control alt delete, but you don't want to put control alt delete or you'll get logged out of your own computer here. So you send it that way, and the password is capital P asterisk SSW0RD. And that's all written on the uh, directions. And then you'll see the server uh, manager when you want to close that by hitting the X. And you do want to open a command prompt here. And let's see what they want us to do on, on that machine, if anything, right away. Just testing it to make sure it works. Okay, we did the start X. We did that stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I got the command prompt. Mm -hmm. Who am I? Host name. That's another one we can try there. Let's do that one. Host name. H O S T A M E. That's nice. BT5 internal. And then, what else? Does it go to the Windows machine? I'm going to skip over this. You guys can read that and do that, hopefully. Okay, that just tells you about that one. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, we want to type in IP config on the Windows one and see if we can get that one to work. IP config slash all. There you go. Everything seems to be working just like it should. So you should be able to read through this lab and get all that done. Got to do the PowerPoint, got to do the labs here in uh, NetLab. And you've got to uh, take the quiz. And that's the assignment for this week. Hope you all do well. And we'll talk to you again next week.